everybody, how's it going? This is Matt from SnooCentral.org and SnoozeTV.com. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today and like always, enjoying quality Swedish snooze. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my personal favorites from GN Tobacco. And really, I wish I could have done this review outside. It's officially springtime here in Michigan and it is raining. In fact, it's been raining all day today. No breaks in the weather, so hopefully my next news review will be outside in some better sunny weather. But until then, you're going to have to look at these news reviews indoors in the studio. So anyway, let's take a look at Odin's original portion. Now when you first pop this news in, the flavor is going to really take you off guard and take you by surprise. This is not like any other Bergamot flavor that's on the market today. This snooze, uh, <laughs> when you first pop it in, it does surprise you. You get a really interesting vegetal character, and I really can't really, I can't really pinpoint the flavor of this as far as the vegetal character goes, but it's really good. And then it's balanced and rounded out by really nice traditional bergamot tones, which is in the background, but it does have that really good traditional Odin's tobacco character that you know and love. So that is uh, basically the gist of the flavor. You do get some leather tones here and there right around the 20 minute mark and some salt and some pepper, uh, but that's it. It's a straightforward, all day, good tobacco character. And I like it. It's a mellow one, but yet bold at the same time, if that makes any sense. It's bold enough to keep you interested, but mellow enough to use all day. Okay, so flavor longevity on this snooze is gonna last you a good 45 minutes in the upper lip. Now, when I say 45 minutes, it's not true 45 minutes of flavor till the end. When you get to the 20 minute mark, it will die down in the flavor department to about 50% flavor. And then after the 45 minute mark, it's gone. That sucks. But that's the nature of this snooze. Now, if you want something that you can use all day, that's a good option for you because right around the 20 minute mark, it mellows out and then you're about ready for another one. But if you keep it in for 45 minutes, you will still get some of that flavor. Other than that, uh, the portion material is very soft in the upper lip. You're sitting at about 70% moisture content on this, so it's not gonna be overly drippy as like a Thunder or some of the uh, general original portions. For me, it's right at that sweet spot to where if I have to use this at work or in a public setting, you don't get a lot of, you know, mudslide or, or not mudslide, but drip. And uh, it's really manageable in the upper lip in that sense. So it's a clean snooze if you can say that. Uh, it's very nice. The nicotine on the other hand is pretty darn good as well. Now this isn't a, a, uh, a normal uh, nicotine strength. So usually normal nicotine strengths are at um, 0.8 to 0.85 percent. To me this feels a little bit stronger. This one sits I would guess at a 0.9 to 1.0 percent. And that's pretty darn good. So if you have a nicotine itch and uh, you want something that's not gonna over nick you but just hit you at that sweet spot, I'd say this is a good snooze, especially for an all day user. You don't want something that's gonna rock your face off like Siberia or you know Clove Explosion, but you want something that's gonna give you just enough nicotine, this is a good offering. And you know, backed up by that good flavor and that good uh, portion fit, it's phenomenal all around. So that's it for the flavor description and the nicotine content, the flavor longevity. Let's go ahead and take a look at this can in a little bit closer detail and pop this open and look at the portions as well. And then we'll wrap things up guys. All right, so let's take a look at this Odin's original portion can in a little bit closer detail. As you can see, it's a really nice uh, polished black can with a polished black label. Pretty darn simple, but you know, it does have a lot of graphics going on too. As you can see, it has the Odin's in the Old English font with Portion Made in Sweden original, which I absolutely love. I love that Odin's does the uh, Made in Sweden on their cans. Just shows pride for a product that really does work. 
And then you get the Odin's wolves and the and Odin's crows up top, as well as o Odin's sword handle. And I think that's a really nice touch as well. And with this one, you do get a hinged catch lid, so you don't have to worry about losing it. It is on the smaller side, but you can fit about three to four portions in here before you have to run to a trash can, so it's decent for when you're out on the go. And I really like that hinged catch lid. And then on the back of the can, what I really love about Gian Tobacco's uh, back seals or back labels is that they have the uh, uh, Gian Tobacco colorated in the Swedish flag with the two griffins on each side. And then on the side label, you get the uh, classic one without the warning label. I don't know if they've updated these yet or not, but regardless, I love this can. So you have the Old English font again with the two Odin's crows, and I figure out their names. So if you guys know the um, uh, Odin's crows names, please leave them down in the comment section below because I forget these things all the time. And then the uh, original portion with 18 grams of snooze total in the can, and that's pretty much it. The barcode and all that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and pop this open and look at these portions. So as I said, these are sitting at about a 70% uh, moisture content on these. That's about what I give it at least. Now that's my best uh, guess and estimation. But you can tell that they are a one gram or close to a one gram weight in each snooze portion. So if you like a plump snooze in your upper lip, this is definitely going to fill it and give you really good mouthfeel and uh, plenty of satisfaction out of these. Really, really nice job, Gian Tobacco. And uh, this is definitely a snooze you do not want to pass up, guys. All right, so that was a look at Odin's original portion from Gian Tobacco. If you guys have tried this snooze, please drop some comments down below in the uh, comment section and let me know what you think of it. I absolutely love it. It's an all day user for me. Um, and, but when I, I gotta say this though, as a caveat, when I first popped this in, first portion, I really didn't like it. I didn't. It actually took a can or two uh, for me to really enjoy this flavor. This is different, like I said, this does have a vegetal character to it, and it does have some different bergamot tones in here. So if this is your first can, just let it grow on you. And then once it does, you're gonna really enjoy this stuff. It's one of my personal favorites of all time, probably in my top 20. And again, I use this stuff year round. So it's a good summertime option for just a bare bones tobacco flavor. And it's also a good winter snooze too. So if you like to change up your snooze in uh, different seasons, this is a good robust tobacco flavor you can use in the winter or fall. So anyway, give Odin's original portion a shot. I think it's a good snooze that's pretty much overlooked nowadays. Uh, there's a lot of different offerings out there, so definitely don't pass this one up. It's a good one, so add it to your next order, guys. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please, again, subscribe to the channel, give it some thumbs up, uh, give it a share, and drop some comments down below. I love talking quality Swedish snooze with you guys. And thank you to all the new subscribers that just joined. Hope you find what you're looking for, and there's going to be a lot more snooze reviews coming up. Um, I got some really cool stuff and an unboxing coming as well, so stay tuned for that. If you want to stay connected in the world of Swedish snooze, be sure to head on over to none other than snoozecentral.org for the latest articles my friend Larry Waters wrote and some of the uh, reviews my wife Jennifer Campbell wrote if you want a female's perspective on Swedish snooze, be sure to look at that. And don't forget to check out our Facebook and Instagram page for some quick hits along the day. So until next time, guys, you know the drill. Enjoy good snooze. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.